Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another video. So, in this video, we'll be replacing spark plugs. I had the link to these in the description below. And this is a V6, even though it do not really look like it. So, I'm gonna move this. Thanks to good old GM. I gotta stay away, uh, save money on bolts. Close this back. And then we are going to remove this 10 mil real quick. So, all right, so we're gonna use a 516, or you can use a flathead. We're gonna move this and this coupler. So, all right, so now we're gonna pull these apart. I'm gonna clean all this when I'm done. So for this, just wiggle it out. That's so. Set that to the side. I'm gonna pull this. Take this aside, and then same with this. Pull it towards you. Then you really don't got no space for this. Use a 13 to remove the top portion, so six of them. Alright, so now we're gonna move the 10 mil bolts that's holding the throttle body to the intake manifold. Close down, I hit the camera. remove that and then to disconnect it push down on this tab set it aside and then separate it awesome. alright so now that M5 is removed we are going to remove the other 13 mil, which is hidden. Let me set this to the side, which is right here. So, break it loose. That's a little short one. Alright, so now we're going to separate this. We skirt both sides and twist. It should break loose. 
We got a flathead or something. This is probably the first time it's coming off. So I'm just being gentle and pushing it downwards. And work, slowly working my way around. Should be able to separate it now. There you go. Set that to the side. Set this aside. Should be able to wiggle. Yeah. So let's pull the hoses out the way. Just slide it through because you don't really got any slack between the hoses. So slowly but surely, you can work it out. Get OG in. Alright, so now we got access to the six spark plugs. So I guess so. These are 10 mil. So, I'm gonna crack each one loose. Now that we got each bolt out, we got to get something small like this, push down this tab, to slide it outwards. And then push down on the tab and pull up. So now we're going to need a 5A spark plug socket with an extension. I'm not sure where the size extension. All right, well, I'm even longer one. Because I want to be heading up them. So we're going to put a new one in. Alright. One down. Next one to go. So that's some most likely got a valve cover gasket leak because this oil in the spark plug hole. And last one for the front. It's gonna be hard before hitting the camera.
I let it, so I was trying to avoid. Now we're going to get our next spark plug. Alright, so now we're going to put each ignition coil back. Put it in the same order that you took it up. Put each 10 mil back in. Now reconnect each coil. And then slide each flat white tab, plastic tab back in. And you hear each one click in place. Alright, so now the rear is going to be pretty much the same procedure, but you got less space. So I'm going to just crack each one loose. And what makes it even harder is because there's a white tab on the back side. Hopefully I don't knock the camera over with the wire loom that's right here. It's sitting right against the tripod. even worse you got the AC line right here well, like I said it's good OGM bad enough I'm already leaning over the car so let's see
Alright, got the first weight clip out. Man, I hate this crap. Can I get it off? Yes. Alright. Alright, that's one, that's three. Got two more. Oh shit, I'm gonna shut the clip. Alright, second one free. This one's gonna be a mother lover, right underneath the AC line. You can put the AC line somewhere else. Yes. Alright, last clip out. This, this spark plug might be. Hard to get out. I can't even move the hose that far. I don't figure it out. <clears throat> Damn, that one doesn't want to come out. Gotta be the last freaking one. <laughs> Has it ceased or what? Right, I'm gonna have some other camera out my way. Alright, so I got a free. Take each one out. Freaking horse. All right, there you go. I'm using a shorter um, extension for the rear. So. I'm going to show you this spark plug and then I'll end the video here because it's pretty much what you do to one cylinder plus spark plug you do it to the next. Plus the camera will be in my way, especially for this one. So that's the second cylinder with oil in it. So this car will need a valve cover gasket replacement. So I'm gonna end this video here, but you get the point of it. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.